Netracells. Last attempt for this week. Come on, Papa, give me that Tau Forge. First thing you gotta do is get yourself the four key glyphs. Otherwise, the mission will not start. You see, as soon as you come next to a key glyph, you will see the effect that it will have. For example, slain enemies explode with boy energy. Or perhaps this one that says lose two energy per second for each enemy within 10 meters of you. Two more on the left side. First one says extra Eximits units have been summoned to the battle. And the last one mentions activating an ability inflicts 50 damage upon you. Each of your party members can have all four. So you can go with zero if you're cool with your teammates and say, hey, I'm just going to pick up all four. I picked up this one. I don't remember picking this one. Up. For example, I can also pick up this one and I can have two. I can pick up this one and I can have three or I can have all four of them. It doesn't really matter all that much. Though keep in mind the limitations of your own Warframe when you pick up these key glyphs. After you are done with this phase, you simply hack here. You can either use the hacking system or use a cipher like so, and you start the mission. Take a look at the upper right portion of the screen. You will see all the key glyphs represented there. Each and every member of our squad mates has at least two of them. If one of your squad mates dies, those will be redistributed to other squad mates, unless of course they already have versions of that key glyph. Just to make sure that even if squad mates do die during this mission, you're still gonna have all four key glyphs. So worst case scenario, the last player standing will have all four of them. Let's talk about death in this game mode. Keep in mind that this follows Archon Hunt rules. That means that if you die on this one, you have a brief drain period that you can be raised by your teammates. If during bleed out you are not raised by your teammate, you're dead, you're gone, it's over. However, if you do die before completing the objective, you're not going to receive any penalty regarding your attempts at Nitro Cells for this week. So for example, I got five attempts right now, let's say. And I'm gonna die right now before the objective is completed. That means I'm not gonna be losing that attempt and I can restart. But let's say that you die after the objective has been completed. Well, in that case, you're still gonna be getting the reward upon your teammate's extraction. So bear that one in mind. I'm gonna keep mentioning this just to make sure that everybody gets it. The first objective is use terminals to pinpoint the location. Granted, this is optional, so if you just pinpoint the location by accident, then you're good to go, but normally you simply come here and you hack these terminals, like Anna's doing now. If you use the European Eye support charge like so, you're gonna get yourself marked on the map the locations of the Voka. so if you're gonna be doing Netrocells, might as well grab yourself some Voka. And yes, you are correct, it's basically the same mechanic as Void Plumes in the Zataman 10-0. This is how the Voka looks. You have three different types and you will need them for crafting purposes. Oh, and here's another one. Oh, by the way, if you don't know how to open this door, what you can do is hit it with your void energy right here in the crystal and then you're free to go. Now, after you located the Netrocell, you're gonna have to have this specific key glyph to actually trigger it. Now, since we reached the Netrocell and we have all the key glyphs, we can unlock it like so. Boom. On your map, you will have a little circle now. It says Netrocell alert level. See that big red circle? It's the easiest part of the mission or the most engaging, let's say. All you gotta do is kill enemies within the red circle. And then you're gonna be getting two cues to go and destroy a little necromite. But I'll show you when we get there. In the meantime, just kill to your heart's content. At 71%, it says find and destroy Necromite drone to continue. So you're not gonna be able to get the Necrocell alert level lower until you take care of that Necromite. And keep in mind that this Necromite sometimes bugs and doesn't spawn, but let's go for it. Well, so much for that Necromite. Guess I'm gonna have to show you the other one. Back to the red circle. The second Necromite alert is at 26%. Let's try not to blow this one up before I can show it to you. Here's the Necromite right here. This is how it looks and you kill it. Done. And you get back to the circle and reduce the alert level to 0%. 1% and 0. After you bring the alert level to 0, you gotta search for the Netrocell. As in, we go back to the tower thingy and we unlock it. And now the hands will open very ceremoniously and we can get our rewards now normally this is what i do i jump through here to get the thing and i always am met by glass because <laughs> that was a good place to place glass at just go through the left board and go up the stairs to get yourself that fantastic reward as in this one and you smash it in your inventory now or better said in your mission rewards you'll have an unidentified item this is the reward you're looking for and of course you got yourself guaranteed yes guaranteed entropy lantern now extract and enjoy. Oh, and if you feel like dying, this would be a good time since you're still gonna be getting your reward if the team extracts. And the reward is... 
another Yay. one. Yay! Oh, look, it's a melee arcane adapter. Aren't you happy, team? Yay! Yay! Right. Awesome. I feel like we're dying inside. <laughs> <Game> of <laughs> adapters. That's pretty much it for the guide. There's really not a whole lot extra to be said. When it comes to optimization for this one, make sure you get past frames, right? So get yourself your Nejas, your Octavias, whatever you have to go fast. For example, a Gauss or perhaps Titania, which is probably going to be MVP on this, simply because it's a huge style set and you need to get from point to point as quickly as you can. Thank you very much for watching. Like, favorite, share and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Perfect. Vicky, last chance, are you doing the outro or am I doing it? How did it go again? You say, thank you very much for watching. Like, favorite, share and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. And we'll catch you in the next one. And then you say bye. Try it. Wait, wait, wait. R repeat everything again. <laughs> <laughs> it goes like this. Thank you very much for watching. Like, repeat after me. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Chill out. Don't be so stiff. Thank you very much I... for watching. I... Am I you're, stiff? You're, ta you're talking to a friend. You're talking to a friend. Right? So I say like friends? this. <laughs> oh, God. Imagine okay. you have friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. So repeat after me. Thank you very much for walking. Oh, fuck. Thank you very much <laughs> for watching. Thank you very much for walking. <laughs> Horrible. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, now say all of that from start to finish. <laughs> oh, God! Come on, it's not so hard. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Perfect. Thank you, Vicky. That was awesome. She's a pro. She's a natural. That's it. <laughs> no more laser gaming views. Victoria, gaming things now. Subscribers. Victoria DLC. <laughs> <laughs> the Victoria <laughs> DLC. Oh. Hey, yo. <laughs> I'm a DLC, I'm extra content. <laughs> <laughs> oh,